Hi, in this video I am going to show you how to attach your bottom to the bag body. Now you're going to, uh, you would have finished your bottom and this bottom is finished on both the inside and the outside and you would have placed a pin in four places the center front, the center back, and the two center uh, sides. You're going to match those pins. First of all, you're going to match the back, uh, the center of the back, to the pin that, sh that depicts the center line of your bag. Now you'll notice this is the center front. I have a pin right here. So I'm going to match that pin in the bottom to uh, the pin that's earmarking the center of the front, like that. Now I've already done one side, so I'm going to do this last side, and I'm going to match this pin in the center of the side of the bottom to the center of the side seam. I'm just going to pin right straight down through. The next step is I'm going to go back and I'm going to ease the um, bottom all the way around and I'm going to pin straight through the edge of the binding down into the binding of the side or the binding of the bag body and I'm going to do that all the way around. I'm simply going to pin right straight down through and I'll pin maybe every inch maybe every two inches depending on on how many pins I have. <laughs> so I'm going to go all the way around. I'm just going to do this one quadrant right here. So I'm just easing it in all the way around. And then once I get this quadrant done, I'll show you how to sew it on. This bottom is hand sewn on. There's no way to get this into your sewing machine. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick a point and start sewing. I generally will start sewing um, at the side edge, but for purposes of this video, I'm just going to pick a point and start. Now, the light is on that pretty good. I am going to take a milliner's needle. It's a longer needle. We recommend a milliner's size 7 needle. And I'm using a 12 weight cotton thread. I'm using two strands of that thread. And I have a knot in the end. So I'm going to slide the needle between the two layers of the bottom. Having two layers on the bottom really helps because then I have some place to hide my knots. I'm going to push it up through and there I've buried my knot right in between those two layers. Push it up through the bottom and come out right in the ditch. Now I'm, I'm using white thread so you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to push it back through. So this, notice that there's three layers there. You have the binding on the bag body and then two pieces of binding for the bottom. So I'm coming out at the top of the binding for the bag body. And then I'm going to go into the first layer of the bottom, push my needle across, and then come out about a quarter of an inch away on the top of the binding for the bag body. Now notice I'm using white thread but you can hardly see my stitches. I'm going to take that pin out so I can do this a little bit better. I'm going to go in, across, and out. And I'm going to pull it really tight. In, across, and out. in, across, 
out through the bottom, in, across, and out. So you're going to do this whip stitch all the way around. And that's it.